everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a what sold video and this is for the week of 11 22 to 11 28 and this week includes black friday which thank god for black friday because it just saved my sales this week um my sales were like not great because i only listed last week i listed 54 items which my goal is always 100 items that's where i need to be. if i'm listing 100 items a week i'm making the money that i want to make i've been making like i've been listing about 80 items a week on average so you know i'm not like which isn't that great and then um but you know it's still like passable and then last week i listed 54 items which is horrible 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 so i was really like thinking that this week i was going to focus on listing but again it was thanksgiving week i was going home to my parents house they live two hours away from me so i was going there to spend like three days there so my whole week was really focused on well that's three days of the work week i got taken away from me i mean i still was able to list a little bit because i had prepped a bunch of listings but yeah it was just another hard week i only listed 57 items this week so today's sunday and i am just gonna go super hard in listing like this whole week just be like go to the bins let's go to the bins list 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 and just get a ton of listings up because i need that but yeah let's just get into it because it's a really long video because i did 84 sales this week and 44 of those sales came from black friday so half of my sales came from black friday and then 17 sales on saturday and most of those 17 sales on saturday were residual sales from black friday because i sent out 50 percent offers on my whole entire closet okay so the first item that sold was this loft light purple floral pullover sweater this sold for eight dollars on poshmark my earnings were five dollars and five cents i got this at the bins I didn't lose money but it wasn't a great sale and I went and pick it up again okay the next item sold on Poshmark as well and this was these seven for all mankind Roxanne black wash denim skinny jeans these sold for $30 and my payout was $24 the next item that sold were these Fashion Nova ripped jean midi shorts these sold for $15 and then my payout was $12 and 76 cents um, these were actually a pretty fast flip I had them listed for maybe two like under two weeks I would say so that was a fast flip I got those at the bin so I mean I still made over a $10 profit and that's always kind of my goal at the end of the day all right, and then the next sale was a James Purse ribbed contrast roll tab sleeve button down shirt in black. I'm literally just like reading my titles, so you're getting all the keywords. Okay, this sold on eBay for $19, and then my payout after the shipping label was $12.94. So the way I do my um like read my uh, eBay sales, you'll actually see in the picture what it sold for because this sold amount I'm giving you includes the shipping price. Now I don't offer free shipping on eBay, but like when you go to the payment section. And eBay, when it shows you what your item sold for, they include the shipping in that. So, like, if I'm charging, like, $10 plus $5 shipping and someone buys it, it's going to say $15. So, yeah, right here we'll have, like, the real price um, for all of that. And then the last sale of that day was this Peruvian Connection Multicolor Stripe Knit Pull-On Maxi Skirt. This sold for $53, and my payout was $41.72. And Sundays are typically really good days for me. Um, this one obviously wasn't. This was my first under $100 Sunday in three weeks. So I did $96.47. I had five sales, and I listed zero items. Okay, so there's that. And then the next day is 11.23, so which is a Monday. I did $92.03 in sales. I made six sales and I listed 21 items. Okay, so the first item that sold on Monday was this Tommy Bahama blue and white printed maxi dress. This sold for $35 and my payout was $28. And I really don't remember where I got this. I kind of think I got this at the bins because I don't think I would have paid for Tommy Bahama at a real Goodwill. So yeah, I'm assuming this is from the bins, but um... Tommy Bahama women's clothing is just so hit or miss. I really try to only get it at the bins. I don't really recommend paying too much for it. Um, this is actually a pretty good sale for a Tommy Bahama piece. So there's that. All right. The next item was this airy green floral leaf floral leaf print triangle bikini top. This sold for $8. My payout was $5.05. I mean, I don't know why. I, I didn't expect much from this. I think I listed it at $15. I mean, I got it at the bins. I just grabbed it. It's super lightweight. So there's that. Next item that sold was this Under Armour light gray anorak athletic jacket. This sold for $23 and my payout was $18.40. I had this listed at $35. I was hoping to get a little more for it than $23, but I've never like sold this style Under Armour piece like before, so I had no idea kind of what to expect. But it was listed for under a month, so I'm really happy with that sale considering I got it at the bins. 
Alright, the next item that sold was this Travelers by Chico's Black Velvet Brooch Dress Cardigan Jacket. This sold for $19.50 and my payout was $12.53 and this was given to me in a donation um, in April or May. During quarantine time, um, somebody gave this to me as a donation, so there's that. It was kind of an outdated style, so I've had it for a little bit of time, but I mean, hey, free money, so why not? Okay, the next item that sold is the brands called Dream Jeans by Quacker Factory, and these are these crystal embellished jeans. These sold for $30, and my payout was $15.86. These also came from the bins. Um, I really only got them because they were new with tags, and they were a really great size. I don't remember if they were a 2X or a 3X, but they were a good size, and um, Quacker Factory does have somewhat of a following on eBay. I've actually done, like, decently with it, as in, like, not, like, in tons of profit, but as in, like, fast sales, so I do experiment with that brand. I don't pick it up every time I see it, but also when I pick it up, I only get it at the bins. So, yeah, if you're there and you see it, you might want to experiment with it. Okay, and then the last sale of the day was this Roxy Lake Gray Pullover Cowl Neck, well, cowl neck Pullover Sweatshirt Hoodie, whatever. This sold for $21. My payout was $12.19. This got so much attention on Poshmark and eBay. Not really so much on Mercari, but on Poshmark and eBay, this got like a ton of watchers on it or a ton of likes on it. And um, yeah, it sold really quickly. I think under a week, I got this at the bins. It was in one of my recent haul videos. And I was really surprised. Some Roxy pieces tend to have like a following to them. Like there's this one specific linen pant and it has a following to it. And apparently this um, jacket did as well. So I do pick up Roxy um, when I see it at the bins. Okay, and then the next day was a Tuesday and that was um, 11.24. This day was so horrible. I think it was my worst day of the week. I did $42.75 $42 in sales. I did three sales and I listed 11 items. So, I mean, we can all see this is because I just haven't been listing. So, all right. The first item that sold that day was this Express Gray Oversized Pullover Sweater with this big round hem. It was sold for $15 and my payout was $12. Nothing special about it. I don't know even where I got this. Was it at the bins? Was it at a plate was 90% off? I don't know, but I think I made a $10 profit on it. Okay, the next item that sold were these Not Your Daughter's jeans, and these were just like these, I think, were they the Alina maybe? Maybe that's what they were called? Anyway, they're just these green pants. They're new with tags, and they sold for $15 on Mercari. My payout was $12.76. Um, yeah. There's that. I've never sold that brand before. Um, they weren't listed for overly long. I definitely think under a month or maybe a little bit over, just kind of in that time range. And yeah, I would pick them up again at the bins if they were new with tags. So but I don't think I would buy them used. I don't know. I, I'm undecided. Okay, and then the last sale that day was on Mercari, and I sold this H&M white smocked waist blouse. This sold for $21. My payout was $17.99, which was amazing because I paid $2 for this. So $2, let's see, like 18 minus 2 is 16. Okay, so a $16 profit on an H&M top is really good, to be, in my opinion. That's amazing. Um, so I actually price this kind of high on Mercari because Mercari has like pricing, smart pricing. So you like say you list it at $35 and your base price is $25 so then it just keeps dropping until it hits $25. So usually like if I want to list it at $23 or $25 whatever then I'll price it like yeah like at $35 or whatever. So I had priced this higher than I was expecting for it and then it sold for $21 and I'm just really happy with that sale. So I was a little skeptical even when I was picking it up. I was like should I even be picking this up? But I'm really happy that I did because $16 is great. My next day of sales was $11.25, which was a Wednesday. I did $79.30 in sales. I made six sales. I listed zero items. There's that. Okay, so the first item I sold was a brand was called Claris Bell, and it was this multicolor striped frayed hem sweater. This sold for $15 on offers to likers, so my payout was $9.88. Um, this I actually got at the bins for myself and then it didn't fit so I just like threw it up for sale so usually those items I like don't really care what they sell for. Um, the next item that sold were these Banana Republic Slim Fit Grey Plaid Career Wear Pants for men. They were sold for $8. My pant was $5.05. I have had these for a really long time. I got them at the bins I'm pretty sure and I'm really surprised they didn't sell for more money because they, I thought they were pretty nice and I don't know I guess just they don't really have any value to them which is unfortunate um but yeah five dollars and five cents I don't think I would pick those up again so glad to see them gone because they were around for a couple months okay the next item I sold was this Joseph Ripkoff butterfly lace patchwork dress this sold for $25 my pant was 
All right, the next item that sold was this Zara multicolor floral matching belt, high waisted midi skirt. This sold for $23 on eBay. My payout was $15.87. This was a gift to me. Um, this was some, like one of the donations I've gotten. So yeah, that was just free money. It was a really cute style. The next item that sold was this O'Neal black and gray color block, Baja wetsuit top, and then like the um, style was Bahia, no, not Baja, it was Bahia 1mm, so like one millimeter like fabric. And anyway, this sold for $29. My payout was $21.41. So I always pick wet sweatsuit stuff up when I find it at the bins because it retails for a ton of money, at like an insane amount of money, even like the cheap stuff. So I always buy it because I know people are looking for it secondhand. Um, and yeah, that sold. I'm happy with that. And then the last sale of the day were these American Eagle high rise jeggings, and they were this like light wash distress bleach um, splattered jeans. These sold for $16 and then my payout was $8.09. So I'm just like, I really need to like review my American Eagle like inventory, like go on like my closet and like filter my American Eagle and just really review it because I don't know that I'm going to be picking it up anymore because the jeans are tending to be sitting around for a while. They're not selling that well and they're just not getting much money when they do sell. So I don't even know if the brand's really worth um, picking up anymore. Okay, the next day of sales was 11.26, so this was Thanksgiving, and I had did a name your price sale in my closet that was a complete failure. So I just made this sign, name your price sale, happy Thanksgiving, blah, 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 and I just, like, just made this, like, little card or whatever, I'll probably insert it up here, and then I had put it in, um, so I would just, like, list it under, like, each individual brand that, like, I sell, so I put, like, a Free People one, an Anthropology one, I sell a lot of Victoria's Secret Pink, I put it under that, Victoria's Secret, whatever that, like, whatever brands I had multiples of, like, I put this card under that brand name, and I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna get all these sales, and it's gonna be amazing, I didn't even get one sale from the Name Your Price sale, and it was just, like, okay, whatever um I had one Poshmark sale that day so I guess that didn't work I don't know so anyway the first item I sold was from um, that day with these vintage acid wash denim high-rise 90s jeans these I sold for $20 and my payout was 16 and I think I got these at a regular Goodwill so I paid for six dollars for them so I mean at the end of the end of the day still a $10 profit but just like not you know a great great sale Okay, and then the next item that sold was this Lou and Gray. It was the Miss You Summer hoodie, and this sold for $21. My payout was $13.72. I've had that for a good amount of time. Um, but I also bought it in the beginning of summer, and why are you going to buy a jacket that says Miss You Summer, like in summer? So I think that was on me for the timing that I sourced it. And then the last item that sold that day were these Citizens of Humanity rocket high-rise skinny jeans and these sold for $40.99 and my payout was $30.07 and these I got for $4 at a Goodwill so I mean that's a pretty decent profit oh yeah and then also on um, eBay so Thursday and Friday I put my whole eBay store 50% off so there's that and now we are getting into my Black Friday sales. So 1127 Black Friday, I did $509 and 38 sale, 38. I have $509.38 in sales. I had 44 sales and I listed zero items. Oh, I didn't mention on Thanksgiving, the number spread. I'm just like so all over the place right now. It's just, oh my god. Okay, so on Thanksgiving, I did $60.11, three sales, five listed. Let's get into them because there's just so many. So basically what I did on Black Friday, so from morning to about 8 o'clock at night, um, in between like my, sh I went shopping with my mom, so like while I was in the car, I was just like sending offers on my whole closet and I have like 12 or 1300 listings. So it's like a ton of offers to send out. So it took me literally like all day, like in between like the things we were doing. So I just went through each listing and if it was listed at eight if it was listed at 18 I sent like ten dollars in discounted shipping. If it was listed at 25, I did 13 in discounted shipping. If it was listed at 35, I did 18 in discounted shipping. So I just basically took like 50% off of the price with discounted shipping and this is the result. So most of them are on offers to likers, so I'm not gonna say that every single time. I'll probably more or less tell you if it's like a normal sale because that's gonna be way less annoying. The first sale of the day was actually a full price sale. Wow, okay. It was this boohoo black one shoulder fitted club dress. I listed it at $18. It sold for full price at $18. So my payout was $14.40. This dress I've had since the beginning of March or the end of February. So it took a while to sell. 
and I really do not recommend the brand Boohoo. I do like fast fashion brands. Boohoo is not one of them. It does not sell very well. So yeah, there's that. Happy to see it go. All right, the next item that sold, this is where we're starting all the offers to Liker sales. So, okay. The first item that sold was this Poetic License Gray Tweed Chunky Mod Heels. These sold for $18. My payout was $12.28. So Poetic License, um, this specific style shoe was actually getting a lot of attention. It had a lot of likes. And then it finally sold, um, yeah. So there's that. The next item that sold was this J. Crew Classic Twill Chino Jacket in Gray. This sold for $14 in offers to Likers, so my payout was $8.93. To be honest, a majority of this stuff has been stuff that was like just sitting around my closet for a really long time. So to see it, I was really happy to see a lot of this go. And a lot of it is not things I really recommend picking up um, because it just it took so long to sell and it really didn't even sell unless it was 50% off. So happy to see it go, but probably wouldn't get again. Okay, the next item that sold was a St. John Metallic Dot Crystal Embellished Jacket. This sold for $65. My payout was $49.88. The next item was this Natural Reflections Orange Knit Pullover Sweater. This sold for $10. My payout was $4.93. Okay, the next item that sold were these Skechers Shape Ups Walking Toning Athletic Shoes. These sold for $20. My payout was $13.88. The next item that sold was this um, LSU short sleeve pillow, sold for $10. My payout was $4.93. This was not garn garnering much attention, like so, I mean, I got the bins, um, but yeah, I don't really recommend picking that up. Okay, the next item that sold was this ASOS new black cutout neckline long sleeve tunic. This sold for $14, payout $8.93. The next item that sold was this Eileen Fisher green ribbed open front cardigan. This sold for $30. My payout was $21.88. Okay. The next item that sold were these Topshop Moto Mom Topshop Moto Mom Distress Chainmail Ribbed Jeans. Okay, so these sold um for $35. My payout was $25.88. So these jeans specifically, I thought these were going to do so well. Of course I had them listed high. I think I had them listed at $75 or $70. But I thought they were going to do really well. I thought they were a really good style. And I know Topshop doesn't sell for a lot, but I thought these would be an exception. They weren't. I've had them since the beginning of March. And they um, just sat around. They got some attention, but, you know, they eventually just sold for $35. So happy to see them go. I would pick them up again, but I wouldn't have such high expectations for them this time around. All right, the next item that sold was just J. Crew Mercantile's High Front shirt and rust orange and my payout for this was four dollars and 93 cents the next item that sold was a soft surroundings wear anywhere pink dress my payout was nine dollars and 88 cents the next item that sold was this american eagle oversized fit plaid pink button down shirt this um twelve dollars my payout was six dollars and 93 cents the next item that sold were these Levi's 511 black wash denim ripped distressed jeans. These, um, my payout was $7.93 for those. I got these at the bins. I got like four men's Levi's and then the two dark wash ones sold instantly. These ones were getting attention. They're finally gone. So now I just have one more pair of black ones sticking around. So those were definitely a good pickup at the bins. Um, they didn't sell for a whole ton, but they all sell really fast. Okay, the next item that sold is this Rails Hunter Plaid Button Down in Scarlet. My payout for this was $13.88. Um, I don't think Rails really gets you that much money anymore. It just really depends on the style. Um, I don't find it very often. And so when I do, I have a high expectations for it. But I don't think it, yeah, I don't really think it sells very well. Okay, the next item was this Lily Plutzer Green and Blue Fish Credit Card Key Fob. This my payout for this was $7.93. This got like so much attention, but nobody really wanted to pull the trigger and buy it until I offered 50% off. So yeah, I was happy to see that go, although it was bringing a lot of traction um, to my closet. And that was a gift, so that was just kind of free money. All right, the next item that sold was this cloth and stone blue white plaid button, button back shirt. This um, was a gift to me, so it was free. And yeah, my payout was $13.88. The next item was this Wrangler Gray Rib V-neck twist knot hem shirt. I think I said that right. And my payout for that was $7.93. That came from the bins. The next item that sold was this logo gray knit black faux leather sleeve jacket. My payout for this was $9.88. This one was actually, I think it was flawed. Um, so I don't know why I had it priced so high. Okay, the next item that sold is these Morel Coriander Tan Brown Suede Sneakers, and my payout for these were $12.28. So these I've had since um, 
Father's Day. I bought them on Father's Day because Goodwill did men's clothes just 50% off, so I only went in the men's section, and I got these Morel shoes, and yeah, so they've been around for that long. Um, I just like to tell you when I list things, so you guys can have like a general sense of how long they take to sell, because I think that's also um, important. Okay, but I don't really track that anymore, so it just kind of like goes off my memory. Okay, the next item that sold were these vintage Dior blue white stripe pleat front pants. My payout for these were $29.88. Next item that sold was this Abercrombie Studded American Flag jean jacket. My payout for this was $7.93. This was more of a more recent find within like the past month or two from the bins. So there's that. The next item that sold was this English Factory black and white crochet shift dress. This sold for $18 and my payout was $12.28. No, $12 okay, that was my payout. Alright, the next item that sold is this Gloria Vanderbilt Slimming High Rise Skinny Jeans. And my payout for these were $4.93. Don't really um, recommend Gloria Vanderbilt. These were like given to me in a donation, so I mean, I didn't pay anything for them, so I just listed them anyway. But I would never pick them up at the bins or anything so, because they're so incredibly cheap and everybody owns them, so like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna get a lot for them because they're so cheap. So, yeah. $4.93. Free money. Okay, the next item that's slow is these Eileen Fisher Gray Elastic Waist Pull on Pants. These um, I made $12.28 on. I've actually had, these are more of a recent one. And I was kind of going back and forth. Should I be sending 50% off on more recent items? I'm like, yeah, honestly, I don't even care. I just want it out. Like, I don't, I don't have attachments to these items. I just want the money and just flip, flip, flip. So, yeah. There's those. Next was this blue and gray black rib casual racer back dress. My payout for this was $7.93. The next item was this DVF, Dan von Furstenberg. Um... Hattie, orange pleated, button-down shirt. My payout for this was $9.88. Um, Dan von Furstenberg retails for a ton of money, but the resale value just is not there for me. I've picked it up multiple times, and it just never does that well. The next item that sold were these Stubbs and Mouton Diamond Stitch Slip-On Loafers sold for $28 on a counter offer, so no discounted shipping involved, and um, my payout was $22.40. I had these listed at $70, so then I sent a $35 offer out, and then, yeah, they countered with $28. Now, this brand is super expensive, and if you find them in good condition, you will get really good money for them, so this is definitely a bolo brand, but these were just so worn and beaten up, and it was just, they were severely flawed, you know what I mean? I'm kind of even surprised they sold for $28, and yeah, so this is a bolo if you can find it in good condition, and even if you find it in bad condition, I mean, I still sold it for $28, so there's that. The next item was this Jose Bank green half zip pullover wool sweater. My payout was $7.93 for that. The next item was this Carhartt medium wash chambray long sleeve tunic. This sold and my payout was $12.28. Um, yeah. Carhartt always sells really fast for me. Well, like I don't have much experience, but let's just be real with that. But Carhartt in like my limited experience has always sold very fast for me. I found this shirt I actually paid up for it. I think I paid $6 for it and it just nothing it was I mean like it was getting somewhat attention but it was been sitting around for a while so maybe just Carhartt men's does well and Carhartt women's doesn't I don't know so yeah there's that all right the next item was this express call in this blue Damas print career pants my payout was nine dollars and 88 cents I got these off the thread up outlet site so they were three bucks um so yeah there's those the next item were these Chico's new ultimate fit black pull-on pants my payout for these were seven dollars and 93 cents and those I got from a clothes mentor $2 clearance sale. The next item I sold were these Lane Bryant black drapey jersey knit tunic. My payout was $6.93. Next we have these J. Jill denim chambray wide leg belted pants. These were $6.93. And these J. Jill pants, I think I had them in a recent haul video. Um, yeah, that just shows I was just putting everything 50% off. I didn't care if it was like new or like not. I just wanted it gone. Um, so J. Jill though, I was like, oh, like I'm buying all this J. Jill and in a month if this doesn't do well, no, not to pick it up again. Well, right, there's a fly. Um, it's just not doing well at all. Um, these only had one liker on them and she's accepted them, but in general, just all the stuff I've listed for J. Jill, just like zero interest or likes. So do with that what you will. I, I don't think I'm going to pick it up again. Okay. The next item was this moth white rib short sleeve, um, knit 
scoop, my short sleeve scoop neck neck top sold for $13. My pant was $7.93. This was $2. I mean, not a great profit. Probably could have got more if I waited around for it because it was a new item, but whatever, it's gone. And anthropology tops can be so hit or miss. I'd rather it be gone than sit on it for another couple months. Okay, the next item with these Page Vertigo Ultra Skinny and Quinley um, jeans. And these sold for $13, pay out $7.93. Um, page jeans retail for a ton of money. You're not going to get a ton of money for them. So if you find them at the bins, get them. If you find them in a regular Goodwill for like six dollars and above, leave them there. And then also with page jeans, you have to be so careful because they're really not even that good quality for such expensive jeans, and they pucker really bad on the front part of it. So just always be like looking for that um, because then it's just like not really sellable. Okay, the next item was this Angie Red Floral Boho Print Open Front Kimono. My payout for this was $4.93. Bins find, so that was great. The next item, okay, so then the next three items that sold were all Mercari sales. So on Mercari, I didn't run any sort of sale. It was just these were just offers um, sent to me, so I just accepted them. The first was a Tommy Bahama gray long sleeve shirt. This was a more recent find from the bins. It sold for $15. My payout was $12.76. The next item were these American Eagle Kirby High Rise Shorties. These sold for $20. My payout was $17.12. And then the last item, our offer that I got on Mercari, were for these VS Pink Christmas Sports Bra Lot of Two. They sold for $16. My payout was $13.64. I've had these for a while because I got them in July. The plate was 90% off sale. So obviously I didn't really expect them to sell right away, but I am happy they did sell because they're super cute and yeah those are those and then the next sales on ebay are a mix of my 50 percent off sales and then people sending me offers after items were already 50 percent off and then sending me like 50 percent off of that so there's that okay the first item that sold were these american eagle super low shorty in the light wash distressed denim these sold for 14.99 my payout was eight dollars and 54 cents the next item that sold, I'm so mad about because it sold. I bought the shipping label, could not find it anywhere. Upon further research, it already sold on Poshmark like a month or two months ago. And I just totally forgot to delete it off eBay. And I'm so mad because before I put my closet on sale, I went through my eBay to make sure that everything on my eBay store was sold. But just like I saw this jacket and I just totally forgot that I sold it because it was two months ago and I bought the shipping label for $11 went to my storage unit and then realized oh wait it's already sold so that really sucks um I have to refund the money now so I have to refund $22.49 for it plus I already bought the $11 shipping label so $30 mistake right there pretty much or a little over $30 mistake right there so that sucks but it happens to the best of us Okay, the next item that sold was the Soft Surroundings Beige Khaki Embroidered Crystal Embellished Pants. These sold for $23.49. My payout was $14.84. And these were more of a recent find at the bins. I thought they were super cool. Um, they were vintage soft surrounding, but they were like embroidered. They had these crystal embellishments. I loved them. They just like reminded me like super like gypsy style, and I was obsessed. And I'm really happy that somebody is going to now wear them. Okay, the next item that sold is this Lucky Brand Red Short Sleeve Scoop, scoop Neck Boho Print Shirt. I remember specifically this sold for um, $6, so there's that. And then my payout was $5.09. I don't know how much I paid for this. Either I got it at the bins or I got it at my $2 thrift store. I don't remember. Um, so this has been around for a while, but it has gotten a lot of attention. I think just my pricing was weird on it. I think I priced it at like $21.99, like just like a, such a weird price. I don't know why I priced it like that. Um, and I think that was one of the reasons it wasn't selling on eBay, but it was getting a tons of, um, watchers on the item. Okay, and then the next item that sold, which was the last sale of Black Friday, my 44th sale of Black Friday, was this Talbot's new navy blue, um, well new is a new with tags, navy blue and white embroidered button front shirt, sold for $12.99, my payout was $7.43, and I don't remember where I got this, it was either a closed winter sale, or a $2 thrift store, or the bins, so definitely $2 or less, I paid for it, so $5 profit. Okay, and now we're getting into the last um, the last day of the week, which was Saturday, which was 11-28. I did $185.29 in sales. I had 17 sales, and I listed 20 items yesterday. So, a lot of these sales were residual sales, 
from the day before because I was sending offers from like I said morning to nighttime so those offers that I sent around 8 p.m. they had till 8 p.m. on Saturday night to accept it so that's where kind of a lot of those residual sales were coming in from okay so let's just get into them the first item that sold one of these Old Navy Boyfriend Skinny Flower Painted Jeans. These were such cool jeans. I loved them and I'm really happy that they're going to a new home for somebody to enjoy them and wear them and get compliments on them. And I got these at the bins and I'm pretty sure they were like hand painted. So that's really cool. Anyway, these sold for $12. My payout was $6.93. The next item that sold was, was this H by Halston Black Faux Suede Knit Sleeve Jacket. This sold for $15. $9.88 was my payout. This was flawed, which I think was why it was sitting around for so long. But it was a really nice jacket. So, yeah, there's that. The next item that sold were these Mephisto, I don't know how to pronounce the brand, it's M-E-P-H-I-S-T-O, and these were the Helen Sandals in Metallic Gold, these sold for $18 on Offer Slikers, so my payout was $12.28. I sold, I had two pairs of these I got from the bins, one sold instantly, and these ones have been sitting around for a couple months, so I don't know if it's the style, the condition, the price, whatever it is, um, they've been kind of sitting, but in general I know this brand does well, so maybe this is just, just like an outlier. Okay, the next item that sold is this J. McLaughlin Solid Black Mock Neck Sleeveless Top, sold for $15. My payout was $9.88. The next item that sold is Joseph Rivkoff Black White Floral Sleeveless Dress, sold for $23. My payout was $16.28. I got this at a like Goodwill 50% off, so I think I had like $3 invested into it. Okay, the next item was this White House Black Market Blue and White Stripe Ruffle Sleeve Sweater. And this was a really great sale because it sold for my full asking price of $25. My payout was $20. I spent $3 on the sweater itself. And this I've had since February. So I did have it for a good amount of time. Okay, the next item that sold was this Chaser Gray Rib Long Sleeve Scoop Neck Henley Shirt. It sold for $15. My payout was $9.88. The next item was this Anthropology Maeve Eva Faux Wrap Blouse in blue. This sold for $14. My payout was $8.93. And so this Anthropology top um, was given to me in a donation. So that was free. The next item that sold is this American Eagle Light Wash Denim Mid-Rise Skinny Jeans. These sold for $12. My payout was $6.93. The next item was this the brand called Humanity. So it's like H. But the U part is like capital Y-O-U, and then it's like manity. So humanity. Um, this is the Wander Where the Wi-Fi is Weak graphic pullover sweater. And this sold for $15. My payout was $9.88. Um, let's see. What else? Okay. Next, I sold these Old Navy Maternity um, New With Tags Medium Wash Cup Shorts. These sold um, on an, an offer, not offers like or somebody sent me an offer. These sold for $13. My payout was $10.05. And I got these at the bins. The next item where this I sold was this Free People Bali Wrapped in Bloom's Kimono. This sold for $23. My payout was $16 and 28 cents. So 23, which means I had it listed at what? $45, I think it was. I had it listed at. Which was kind of a lot of money because this one was actually sold at Nordstrom Rack. So the market was kind of oversaturated. It didn't retail that much to begin with. So I'm happy with that sale. And I got it at the bins. So that was like really quick sale and then all the last sales are all on ebay so the first sale on ebay was this victoria's secret style shapers high waist thigh shaper and nude this sold for $12.99 my payout was seven dollars and 47 cents this did have some flaws on it which is probably why it like sold for less i just had some marks on it but you know it's worn as an undergarment so it doesn't really matter you know but anyway yeah got that at the bins so still made money all right, the next item that sold was this, the North Face Gray Straight Leg Cargo Outdoor Pants. These sold for $21. My payout was $12.60. Um, these were like such an outdated style. I don't know. I just got them because they were at the bins. It's just kind of like the only reason. Because, yeah, they're kind of outdated and whatever. The next item that sold was this Eileen Fisher Mint Green Open Front Cardigan Sweater. It sold for $12.50. My payout was $5.02. So this one had a flaw. I washed it. Couldn't get it off. So I just listed it with stain anyway. And, um... This I bought off Facebook. This lady on Facebook Marketplace was selling a huge lot of Eileen Fisher. She wasn't a reseller or anything. She just had a lot of Eileen Fisher and she was selling it and I just bought it from her and I have sold most of it and I've already been in the profit zone for a while on that like purchase and yeah so this making five dollars and two cents is just like not the end of the world because like the whole trip is paid off. Okay. The next item that sold is this Cabbie Life Blue V-neck High Low Hem Tank Tunic Adjustable Straps. Okay, this sold for $15.50. My payout was $10.24. And this was in a recent bins haul. So, 
I'm really happy to see that go because I think I've only had the I've only listed it for like under a week I think so that was a really good flip not good but just like fast I need yeah I think I need to start start replacing the word good with fast okay and then the last sale of the week finally is this lucky brand gray aztec tribal print waterfall front cardigan sweater sold for 21 dollars. my payout was 12.76 and this again was a bin sign so as you can see most of the things i'm selling i did not make huge profits on doing 50 percent off but a majority of my inventory comes from a two dollar thrift store two dollar clothes mentor 90 percent play-dohs and then of course my holy grail the bins so even though like I'm not making a ton of money on each sale, I'm still making a good profit margin. I'm still flipping my money multiple times on these pieces. So buy cheap, sell cheap. That's the motto. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I post weekly what sold videos, weekly haul videos. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.